Last week, I released a first look video on Advanced Thema's Visual CSS Grid Builder for Bricks Builder. Today, we're going to revisit the beta version of this and one of the key new features that's been added, and that is the ability to use this alongside the Bricks Loop Builder. This means you can loop anything you want, products, posts, anything at all, and use the Visual CSS Grid Builder to make it much more visually appealing. Let me show you an example, and then I'll show you how to recreate something similar and see how exactly how it all works. Now, this is a really simple example that I put together very quickly just to demonstrate how things work. But you can see this is using the loop grid, and we've got a more interesting layout using that CSS grid, all done visually inside Advanced Thema. Let's take a look at how this is put together so I can show you how you could do this when this is released. Okay, so I've created a blank page, and we're going to recreate what I've just shown you. So the first things first, let's add a section with a container inside. So now we've got our section and our container, and we're going to drop a block inside the container. Let me just quickly explain what's going to happen here. The section is just going to wrap everything to make sure it sits the way that we want. The container is going to be what we're going to set our grid on, and the block is going to contain an individual loop item that will be repeated as part of the loop standard kind of thing you set up with the loop. So what we're going to do with this is we're going to choose our block and we're just going to add a couple of fields inside there. So let's select our elements, we'll add a heading, and we'll add, add some rich text in. We'll select our heading and we'll set this to be dynamic content. We'll set this to be the post title. We'll choose our rich text. We'll set this to use the post excerpt and we'll set this to be 25 characters. That's perfectly fine. So that'll do to start off with. So we've got the basics set up. So the first thing we need to do is to create our loop. So we're going to select the block, come over to our query, and we're going to set this to be the query loop, and we'll just choose this to use the posts. Set this to be posts again. Order by doesn't really matter too much, but we'll set it by title. And what we're going to do is we're going to limit this to something like six results, so we don't end up with tons of options on here, and this gives us enough to see what we're doing. So we've created the first part of this. The next thing we're going to do is just making sure we've got our block selected. We're going to come over to our styles. We're going to come into our layout and give this a minimum height. We'll say something like 500 pixels. For now, it doesn't really matter too much. We can adjust this if we need to. And we're going to set a background. So we're going to choose dynamic for our background, and we're going to use our post featured image. You can see that drops that in behind. We're also going to come in and we're going to say we want to put a gradient overlay on here, set to be on the overlay, and we're going to add a couple of colors in. Like I said, I'm not going to be too precious about this. We'll set our first color. It doesn't really matter what that is. We'll say we'll have this black color. We'll do the same on the one below. And then what we'll do is we'll just adjust the opacity. Finally, with our block selected, let's come back over to our content and set this to sit at the bottom of our content. And we'll simply apply some simple styling to this. And while we're at it, let's just add a little bit of spacing inside here as well. OK, so our loop grid is set up. The next thing we need to do is create the CSS grid. So let's select our container, come back over to content, and from here, we're going to set our display from flex to grid. Once we do that, we have the same options we saw before, which allows us to use the visual grid builder. So now if we invoke this, you'll see things are laid out in this particular fashion. So let's adjust this to the way that we want. We're going to set this three by three, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this out, and you'll see we get the same layout as we saw on the previous example. If we apply this grid and close, and there we go. This now shows us our grid. If we take a preview of this, you can see everything is laid out the way we've set it up. We've got this first section is now much bigger, and then we've got the smaller sections wrapping around it. Very quick and easy to set things up in a more visually interesting fashion. If you want to make changes to this, you can come back into your grid builder, make sure you have the container selected, come back in, and you can customize this even further should you want to. Want to make this one double height? Well, you can do that. We'll apply the grid and close. And now if we take a quick look, you can see we've now set that up to be a slightly different layout. If you find you do adjust the layout and you need to make changes, all you need to do is come into your block, there's still the loop set on it, come into the loop itself, and what we're going to do is we're going to set this now to be 5, so we don't end up with that orphan at the bottom, and click on Save and Preview, and you can see now we have our interesting layout all set up. All we need to do is add just a little bit of space around it, and you are basically job done. 
Now, there's other things you can do. Now, one of the things that people have asked, and I'm not going to go into it in this video, I'm going to wait for the final version to come out. But let's say, for example, that you wanted to inject a static card inside your loop. You can do that. You can just basically put it into the flow of the overall structure, and you can have static items inside here. So you may want to put an advert inside here or anything along those lines. It can all be done using this visual CSS grid builder that's part of Advanced Theme. This is still in beta, but I think it's definitely a really cool and powerful option. Now we can start to use it with the loop grid builder. Anyway, I'd love to know your thoughts and feedback. Drop them in the comment section down below. If you want to try this out for yourself, if you have Advanced Thema, log into your account and you can simply download the alpha or beta or whatever the release actually is, all available inside there so you can test it out and follow along. As always, my name is Paul C. This is WP Tuts. Until next time, take care.